Hey everybody, it's Jacqueline from We Got A Voice 2. Here to speak to everyday Joes, Janes, and Jacquelines, just like me and just like you too. Currently, I am at the Holocaust Museum in Richmond, Virginia. DMV area, very exclusive, um, very humbling experience. I am here to take you guys along, show you guys some of the things that I've never known before, and um, I'm here to learn. Uh, I'm here to take you guys on a journey as well. Uh, there'll be little photo clips and much more to talk about later. To have to survive in spaces of this reenactment gives me chills. It's not right. It's inhumane. It doesn't matter what year it was. You can never justify why people were captured and brought in and living in these spaces. Mind blowing and very sickening. Um, I'm just stepping out of the Holocaust Museum in Richmond, Virginia. Um, it was quite the experience. Uh, you know, you read about things, um, or you learn these lessons, um, about certain people's cultures and backgrounds in schools, and then you go somewhere like this, and you actually read and see photos and you see reenactments and you start to realize what you learned in school was maybe 40% of what, what really happened. And I think it's a deep story. Um, man, like I had to take a breather and I had to really think and like force myself not to cry. Um, it's just sad what they did to everybody. If you're human, you deserve to be treated as a human, not inhumanely, um, you know, not like an animal. Um, people don't deserve that. And it's very heartbreaking. If you are here in Richmond, Virginia, please, please, on your bucket list, come to this museum. It was awesome. Customer service was great, you know, everything. But uh, it's a true story and you will feel it, especially if you are a person that understands um, different backgrounds and, and different emotions. And, you know, if you've been somebody that's gone through anything, you'll understand more too as well that understanding other backgrounds and other races and things they've gone through as well will help you cope with being yourself, really. You know, I, I, I want to pray and continue to pray for those alike, um, those that have gone through anything, especially something like the Holocaust. Um, looks like my next stop might be <laughs> Stay tuned. But everybody, it's Jacqueline from We Got A Voice 2. Please stay tuned for any journeys coming up. I would like to keep you guys posted. Um, I really want you guys a part of every single step that I make, that we make together. Take care. So I know it may seem very stupid to some people, but um, as much as I was trying to hold it together, this is something that I would like people to see about me is um, I'm very emotional, but to learn that stuff like this 
it may not be happening on this extreme, but things like this still take place today. Um, you know, within our government, you know, families being split up. Uh, there's no food on the table for millions of people right now. And um, all I could legitly say is God bless America. God bless us all because we need each other, you know. Um, I'm happy to be a part of a team. You know, we got a voice too because we really have a voice. And so do you guys. I want to hear from you guys more. I want to know what you guys don't know and, and maybe need info about or... You know, even if you need someone to talk to, I may not be able to get to every message right away, but talk to me. I'm on Twitter. Um, I would love to have conversations and see what you guys are feeling and thinking, you know, day by day or at the end of your, your hard work week. Um, we need peace around this country and it starts with genuine people. Um, please be good. Be good to other people. Be good to yourselves. And um, again, it's Jacqueline from We Have a Voice Too.